add love with Pat's two cents. Here with the scripture, Romans chapter 5, 1 through 5. Followed by Pat's two cents. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Yuck. And patience, experience. And experience, hope. Okay. And hope makes not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. <laughs> you know, I was being silly when I was reading that because we don't like tribulations unless we're uh, masochistic. We don't like pain. I know I don't do pain. It's not in my vocabulary. So I, I've had times where I literally looked up and told God, I don't like this. This may be what you're doing, but I don't like it. <laughs> Just being real. But I knew that God had the power to carry me through. I knew that he would not put any more on me than I could bear. And when God gives you promotion, when he raises you up into higher levels of blessings, oftentimes that entails higher levels of responsibility. You hear what I'm saying? And with higher levels of responsibility comes a myriad of annoyances. Now, I say that because I remember when I was, uh, the Lord had promoted me to own my own salon. And things started going wrong with the plumbing, with the, I mean, it was like all of a sudden now I'm responsible for everything that went wrong at the salon. Well, I didn't have to worry about it before. I just paid booth rent and went and came home. But now I'm the head honcho. And the Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. So I say, be careful what you ask for. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong in crossing into a new horizon and adventuring into the unknown. When God is in it, you're going to be better for it. One way or another, you're going to be better. Whether you fail, whether you succeed is neither here nor there. You are going to be better for it because God is all about purpose. And God will work inside of you through his Holy Spirit to enable you to grow, to strengthen you, to fortify you, to establish you, to settle you. Oh, he's got his ways. And his ways are above our ways and above our thoughts. Woo! And yes, where there is relationship, you know how it is when your family gets on your nerves. As much as you love them. Well, guess what? God can get on your nerves too. Especially when he's not in a hurry. And here you are in the middle of your trial. You're in, you're in a, um, you're, you're fighting the urge to panic. You're afraid. You don't know what's going on. Why is this going wrong? What's unraveling here? But everything in you says, wait on the Lord. Be still. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You say, hey, I'm tired of waiting here. <laughs> I'm tired. Now, I'm ready for something to, to unfold. I, I need some answers. All this stuff about wait on the Lord and, and he'll bring it to pass. And Yeah, okay, but God is not in a hurry, and I am. You know how we get. You know how we get. <laughs> Go on in a minute. Don't look at me cockeyed. eyed like I'm crazy. <laughs> You're right in here with me. <laughs> so, but what I love about God is he understands. He's not offended by us being impatient, by us getting angry. He's not offended. He knows who he is. He's not worried about our little hissy fits. But he knows in all 
in all that we go through and all that we respond to, whether positive or negative, there is a level of growth he's bringing about. There is a level of added knowledge and maturity, stability he's bringing. And wisdom. Mm. Life's failures can be our greatest lessons, you guys. So when you feel like a failure, mm -mm. many times God's way up is down. That's the part I don't like. That's why I never get on roller coasters. You're not going to have me up there going down. I went on one one time, and I cried when I got off of it. <laughs> Shut up. So sometimes, sometimes when we go through life, we're crying. We're crying because this thing is too steep. I don't like this fall. It feels like I'm totally out of control here. And my stomach is up in my throat. I don't like this feeling. But God, he's got the whole thing under control. He knows the beginning. He knows the end. He knows the results that will come of it. And whatever he allows... It's because he loves us. He loves me. He loves you. He's not sadistic. He's not turning the knife to hurt you that much more. He's, he's not trying to destroy you. He's building you up. And unfortunately, you know how you ever watch the athletes? And they go through all this exercise and all this practice. And, and then they're straining under the weight as they push those weights up. And <clears throat> they go through rigorous training. Painstaking. Because they're reaching a goal. They've got something in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. And they're willing to shed a tear and have a cramp in their muscle to win. What are you willing to take on to win? God is our life coach, you guys. And the Bible is our manual. Let's follow him. Let's, let, let's allow him. <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's allow him to take us to the highest heights even if we have to go through the valley of the shadow of death to get there even if we have to go through the valley of dead dry bones to get there God knows the route that best suits you and me amen yeah God is more than able <clears throat> to accomplish those things that concern us so let's sit back and let him do the driving. Don't fight it. You may shed a tear. You may complain along the way. But don't complain to other people. Talk to God. Ask God to help you. That's why he gave us his Holy Spirit. And the victory will be won. Just cooperate with him. You'll see. I'm talking from experience now. God bless you.